being safe and smart and um, in the midst of this madness doing positive things. And that's kind of why I want this particular thing tonight. Um, I wanted to say hello. I wanted to let you know what I'm doing and what other talent are doing and what the industry itself is planning to do. Um, I've been looking at all this stuff for a long time now just to kind of vamp up my knowledge on what should happen next, what should be going on next, and what you can be doing. So there are some resources I'm going to talk about and um, some things that I hope you, you know, take my advice on and do for yourself. Um, I did make another workbook. So hello. Um, if you go into the unit and pull that up and print that up, you can kind of follow along with my conversation and take notes. Um, I do these things. I make these books on purpose so that you will not just follow along, but also have kind of a takeaway. You have something to refer back to and look at and really think about. I find that if I need to remember something, writing it down for me always helps to make it stick in my head some more. So that's why I've prepared those for you. And I do hope you utilize them. I will be doing some giveaways as I do um, for people who post their stuff and show me that they followed along with me live and that you were here. So I want to definitely reward those that take their time, take their effort and their energy and join me at this time. And I know I don't usually do this early in the day, but I think that, you know, with the way things are now that a lot of people might be um, more available. So I decided to come on a little earlier tonight. And with that being said, you know, maybe some people can watch the replay, but I'd so much rather reward the people that, that put their time aside and showed up here. Um, I know that this whole thing has caused life to change. And I don't like to use the same terminology as everybody else. I don't want to talk about pandemic. I don't want to do all that. What I really want to think about is, you know, now we've got some time. We've got an unusual shift in the way we spend our time. And to utilize that best and really put your best foot forward and feel like you're being productive is important right now. And it will keep people um, more on an even keel, mentally speaking. It'll help you feel like you're productive. I know some of you, like I'm, I'm a mom and I have all these kids, but they're now at home. So that sucks some time out of my life because I do have to do the homeschooling thing. But to me, that's okay. Um, it isn't so overwhelming, even though there's three of them, that I don't have time to do other things. So hi, Steve, we're well, I hope you're well too. Um, hugs to everybody and hi, Candy. Um, what I want to do is, is kind of share a little bit about how I've been spending my time. And maybe that will give you some ideas and some inspiration and that kind of thing. So when I print up my, my workbook pages today, the first thing is I put to list some goals. And I think it's really, really important to have goals. Um, I once knew a woman who was 93 years old and the thing she said kept her going was knowing that she had um, some place to go, something to do and someone to love. And those are really beautiful things. And all of us are going, well, we don't really have some place to go as much as we did before. But the online activity that, that people are doing with webinars and such is immense right now. So although you don't have somewhere to go, there are places online that you could be going to that weren't there before. There are new resources for you and for talent and a way to you know, enhance yourself and move yourself forward without even leaving the comfort of your own home. Um, just yesterday, I've never done this before in my life, um, but my daughter and I had gone to the Industry Network you know, about a year ago and in January and the industry network dance people, the choreographers, decided to do an online dance class. So I like to dance. I'm not a hip hop person. I'm not. But I decided, OK, I'm going to get my kids and let's do this and have a hip hop dance class for an hour. And it felt really good. It felt good to be doing something new. It felt good to be doing something positive. And, and it felt good to be doing something active. Um, these are really 
key things to keeping a person feeling healthy and and just taking that one hour and setting it aside and deciding to do something that I would be terrible at, which is hip hop, um, made me feel better. So it's not even a goal of mine to learn to be an excellent dancer, but it is a goal of mine to connect with my kids and, and to be with them and to help them with things that they're interested in. So it was a really nice thing to do as a person and as a mom to make me feel like I'm doing something positive. So find those things that are out there. It's really, really important and, and very accessible at the moment. So that's one of the things that, you know, I wanted you to write down a list of your goals. Um, I feel that if you do that, then at least you've got kind of a roadmap of what you might want to do and how you might want to spend your time. I know that I have been, um, I'm someone who likes to learn all the time. So, you know, I'm on the Masterclass app and I'm doing three different classes right now. Um, I listen to anything I can find that Tony Robbins does all the time. Um, I did some of those webinars about businesses and, and small business owners and how they're going to move forward and that kind of thing. And it really made me kind of do an evaluation of where I'd like to see my company go. And, and, I know it seems crazy because right now there's no bookings, really. Um, there are some that are online, which are really neat. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that, too. Things that you could be doing that are even work and paid for. And, and I'll address that in a little bit. But, but you know, my, my particular business of booking people has slowed down. Um, my coaching has maintained the same, I think. I, I do five different sessions a week. Um, but I'm, I'm adding things. My, my brain started to go and a lot of the things that I've been learning and, and taking advantage of and thinking about are how to establish my company and myself as um, an expert in the field, as somebody who is the go-to person for um, either the talent or the clients. And I've, I've been really kind of brainstorming this a little bit. And all of you that have been with me for a while in this group, you know that I started it to bring a different level of integrity and truth and honesty to um, what talent need and what kind of career path they should have and, and how other companies handle their sales tactics and, you know, all those things. And it's been really um, rewarding to do it this way, besides the fact that I feel like people are getting to know me a little bit more than, than when they just, you know, make a call or message me or whatever. They have a way to watch how I speak and what I talk about and things that are dear to my heart and 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 see how emotional I can get sometimes. Um, but what I have decided to do and um, what I think would be most beneficial and most impactful um, is to take what makes me different and what makes me unusual in this business and try to spread that as wide as possible. And I've been thinking about, you know, doing that on my own and, and being this person that does that, you know, through Facebook and going live and, and grabbing as many people to listen to me as I can. But I'm now thinking that my my mentorship ability and my um, ability to inspire and inform and mold people into good talent. I think that all of these things have now um, it was suggested to me that I start to certify trainers that I should train the trainers. And I'd had other companies reach out to me and ask me to do that for their staff at some points, and I didn't like their ethics, so I chose not to. But why am I not doing that anyway? I should just be doing that anyway. I've realized that coming from the Florida market and then into the North Carolina market, um, there was a difference in the expectation levels and the quality levels of the talent. And even people that had been through programs and had been trained. And I'm seeing a lot of people that end up so developmental. And why is this happening? Well, <laughs> actually, because I suppose I haven't reached them all and been able to coach them all and teach them all everything I think they need to know. Um, but I, I now feel that in that mind frame and in that vein of things that maybe I do need to start training trainers. So I'm going to expand my company and try and do it that way. And then in the, the fallout of that should be that I end up with really excellent talents on a large scale that I can sign and represent and, and move. Um, so that's what I'm looking at now in doing that with my company. And that wasn't what I was thinking about doing before this all happened. And I think that it's, it's a really positive thing for me. So now I'm really, really busy because I'm developing a curriculum for coaches. 
So that changed and shifted in me. I have found something creative to do as a goal. And I've noticed that other people are starting to do that too. So, you know, on my, in my agreement thing, um, I, I, not my agreement, my, my workbook, my worksheet thing. Um, what resources do you have to tap into? This is an interesting question. At this point in time, what can you be looking for? What can you be trying to do? What can you think about as, as excellent things in you or possibly even things like your special skills section? If you're an actor, if you're, if you're a model, why not, you know, take some dance classes online. Models do great when they learn some dance movements and how to handle their hands and um, different posing that way. These are great things to do to enhance yourself at this point in time. It's real smart. Um, we complain about how much time we don't have all the time before all this. Don't have time to work out. I don't have time to take that dance class. I don't have time to develop a new hobby. We can now. Um, just to create a date night, Howie and I, we decided that we would paint. So I got a paint kit from one of those on, um, they're not really online companies, but they is now, they is now, what did I say? They are now, um, those little shops that do those paint, paint and sip days, we ordered a kit and we had it here at home and we set up a table and we decided we'd paint our, our creation is behind me it's the the guitar so we painted something and and touched on that particular thing that we hadn't paid any attention to in a long time so this could help your special skills section this could help your abilities as a talent and i think that enhancing yourself and moving forward and learning more things um start to look around and figure out where you can find that stuff Facebook, goodness, all the different groups that are on Facebook. Yes, you found this one. How many other groups are you a member of? There's a lot of those that are giving away the information about where to find online coaching. Um, the Mark Drusso's Act True out of Miami is doing online coaching. Um, Margie Haber just did some free ones that I was just doing them on Mondays. Um, I, I attended of uh, the Fort Myers Film Festival's TGIM, thank God for Indie Mondays, online, and, and we talked film. So there are these groups and there are these resources and try to find them and, and join them. Um, I know Wendy Elaine Wright of WAW Entertainment in LA, she's doing some things online too. Um, yeah, we found an online dance class. There's all this stuff that you could be doing now that will enhance you, that will move you forward, that will keep you dri driven and, and driving. And that's really, really important because, you know, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen with this industry? If you think about it, all the time that everything's been shut down, there was a timeline in place where projects were supposed to be done and ready and fulfilled. And, you know, everybody likes to have a Christmas release movie and Netflix is going to have everybody binge watch everything that's already on there and what's going to happen for the next seasons. There's going to be a backup because there's a backup in the system. There's going to be a backup in the flow of things and things are going to start moving at double time. They're going to start casting faster. They're going to start casting more. Um, Candy had said to me, uh, I'll, couple days ago, I guess, and maybe it was last week. I don't know. I'm losing track of time like the rest of you. But she had mentioned to me that it's entirely possible that some of this movement of um, busyness might leave Atlanta and start coming up to North Carolina or possibly going back into Florida if Florida gets their act together and starts dealing with some, some tax incentives. Um, but it may have to spread out because there's only so many sound stages and the projects are going to be going double time. So keep an eye out for when this all comes around, these different areas where you can reach out to and go to. And, um, you know, do you have your representation in line in all those different places? This is something that you should be doing. So look at you know, lists of where these agencies are. Start looking at how many of the websites that you're on right now, whether you're on Backstage, whether you're on IMBD, whether you're on um, Now Casting, Casting Frontier, um, Kids Casting, you know, all of these are out there. And if your stuff isn't on there and isn't up to date, then this is a great time to do that. Pay attention to that. So that's some of the resources that you should be tapping into right now. I, I, next question I put, what are you reading now to enhance your future? 
there are a lot of books about acting. There's a lot of real information out there. You know, there's modeling books, there's acting books. And I know everybody's like, well, pick up a book. We'll get an ebook if you want to read it online. That's fine too. But I've, I just recently, you know, I'm always learning. Um, Anthony Robbins is giving these away. So you pay the shipping and it's about financial freedom. And why not learn about that when things are so crazy right now that we might get some tidbits of information about how to help ourselves. So what are you reading right now that's going to enhance your future? You should always be learning. You should always be growing. You should always be trying to do this. Um, I was working on another thing in, in a booklet of his that's called The Time of Your Life. And I was looking at this and there was a really neat resource I found in here about time targets. And I, you know, I definitely recommend getting into these things, but um, it's, it's like a target. But on the outside, it's what's not urgent and not important. And we spend a lot of time in this dimension of distraction. And we don't need to be distracted so often, but we do. We spend time there to try and clear our minds sometimes. But we shouldn't spend too much time there. Um, the dimension of delusion is what we call urgent, but it's really not important. And very often we do these things. Like we assume that um, our laundry is really urgent or, or having to go do this or do that or answer to this person. You know, we, we spend time doing things that are urgent, but not really important. And then here is the dimension of demand where it's urgent and important. You know, if, you're, if your kid falls down and it's bleeding, then that's urgent and important. You have to spend some time there. So some things actually fall into that category. But the last one is the important but not urgent. And that's the center because it's called the dimension of fulfillment or the zone. And if we can think about the things that aren't urgent but are really important to us, our family, our um, relationships, our friendships, those things that the quality time, and we get to have more of that now. So we should definitely be spending more time in the zone of fulfillment and enjoying that. But what a great thing to come across in my reading. So these kind of, you know, self-help books or whatever you want to call them. Um, it's a great time to grab some new thoughts, grab some new ideas, um, analyze yourself and how you've been living and think about how to make it a little better. I think we all should do this. And I think it's part of, you know, what, what makes us creative, talented people is we like variety. We like to try and move forward. We like to, um, to grow and create and, and, and feel like we can be free in that. And sometimes if other life stuff is going to get in the way and we feel all encumbered, that kind of stuff can hinder our ability to move ourselves forward and to feel free to express ourselves. And this, this kind of, you know, looking into these kind of reading materials can really, really help. Um, the next thing I put down on my worksheets was what are you doing with your marketing to move it forward? And I did mention the websites and such, but take a real good look at everything. Um, is your resume up to date? You know, how are your photos? I know some, some of the printers are still doing printing for comp cards and things. I recently, I, you know, how's my marketing? I got new business cards. So yes, you might see yourself on there. That's, that's Jordan. Um, I have Ashley and Alina and Izzy on there. See, I made new business cards. So doing something to help revamp things. I'm going through everyone's website page. I'm making sure they're all up to date with the, the newest information that I could possibly get. I'm asking my models to check their measurements. Um, I'm having the talent make sure that they're updating their resumes. And I'm going through my entire roster of 130 plus people one page at a time and making sure that it's all fine tuned and all excellent because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to all of these companies that would hire my talent that have been maybe too busy engulfed in a project to really look at my talent in an in-depth sort of way. So this is a perfect time for me to do that. So I'm doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. And I know some of you are like, look at my resume, look at my resume, you know, can you work on this? And I, I do, I can but I'm going in alphabetical order. So if you don't happen to be, and it's my first name because that's how my Google Drive saves everything. So if you don't happen to be named <laughs> with something that's, you know, starting with A, B, C, D, um, poor Vanessa, <laughs> she's, gonna, she's gonna take me a while to get to. But I am doing this and I am diligently doing this because I want us all to be 
um, right top notch, completely ready for when this dam breaks. I want us to be at full speed. I want us to look absolutely excellent. So I know that some of you are like, well, I can't hire a photographer right now to up do my headshot or you know do my resume or whatever. Um, if you have shots that you thought you needed to, you know, maybe re-edit, maybe you didn't like the editing on them. Now's a good time to do that. People are still working from home to handle those kind of things. Um, if you need help with your resume and you want to do kind of a, a tutorial about how to put your resume together, I'm thinking about um, sticking that on my calendar too, so that if you need me, I can do a screen share during a Google Hangouts meet and you can watch the way I structure resumes so that maybe we can all help each other and get this done a little faster. So um, as you're as you're doing these webinars, as you're learning about things, as you're updating your special skills, get that on that section too on your resume. It's real important. Um, I love the special skills section. I, in fact, I kind of, before you even look at the roles that people have taken, I like to look at who they're training with and who they've been training with. And then I like to look at the special skills section and then I kind of bounce back up. That's the way I look at things. And it's part of it's because I want to know if they know the people that I know. And then part of it is I want to see what kind of, you know, crazy things they might be capable of doing. Um, I knew somebody that was an expert jump roper and, and I was like, what is that? But I guess it's when you do it real fast, really, really fast. So what a neat thing. And, and, I love to look at those things. Um, one model put in her resume that she she put shopping and then she wrote, yes, it is a skill. And just having that little bit of humor in there made me made me giggle and remember her. So those are the kind of things you might start thinking about is how do I make myself a little more memorable? How do I make myself a little more ready for this? Um, some of my talent have started doing their own websites and using Wix to do that. And they've turned out lovely. Um, they made it nice and simple, but concise and showing enough of their variety of things that they've done and just a great resource. So if you put your time together right now to do that sort of thing, great. Put it on a website, show me the link, and then I'll add it to your marketing too so that they can see a full picture of who you are. Um, some people have been talking to me about their reels and how do I put together a good reel. And I've been arguing with this indie film company to try and get my reel footage. Don't bother. Just learn a, learn a great monologue, learn a good commercial, take those as if you're self-submitting and film them and put them together. Um, I use Vimeo. Um, no, sorry. I use Animoto and Vimeo. Um, Animoto is an excellent way to just edit things together. It's a real quick, easy system. So I do that, download it, put it on Vimeo. Um, I've got a couple of pages on on Facebook that I, I kind of want to address. One I've put up um, just just because it's a showcase for, for talent. So if you want to put something into that, um, there's a Gray Models and Talent um, page for putting on some video. And it's a great way to just show us off a little bit while this is going on, while people want to look at something new. So practice your monologues, practice your commercials, get them to me. And we'll put them up and we'll look at them and, and show them off to people so that we can help market you even in the interim. So that's one thing I'm doing. Um, I did I did send out an email asking talent to send me back videos of them thanking the people that are first responders or the medical people out there in the field right now that are putting their time and their effort. Um, even all this, the people that are our, our support systems that are working in grocery stores and they're they're out there risking themselves every day. I wanted people to thank them. So I'm gathering those too, so that my talent can be seen for the hearts that we have and edit that together and put it all up. So these are things that I've done and that I'm working on. Um, I've also thought about doing an improv kind of thing where one talent takes a video of them saying a line and a half and kind of leaving it hanging. And then the next talent would say another line and a half. I'm trying to build like a skit out of nothing kind of improv kind of fun thing to do. So if you want to be a part of that, let me know. I would love to have people do that. Um, I think it would be super, super fun. So let me know, you know, see what, see what you're capable of, see what we can show to others so that when all of this is done and they're ready to hire you, maybe they'll remember something, maybe something will go viral. Who knows? It would be great. It would be great promotion for you. It would be great promotion for gray models and talent. Um, I'm all about it. So 
anyway, the, the other questions, you know, what free webinars are you attending? I kind of talked about that too. Um, but another thing I want you to think about is how are you taking care of yourself? You know, some people have been putting jokes online about um, how we're all going to sit around and get fat during this whole thing because we're sitting at home. Now, I don't know what you're doing, but be careful about how you're taking care of yourself right now. It's really very important when you're your product and you're what you're selling. You can't let things slack or slide. You've got to make sure that you're keeping up with your fitness. You've got to make sure that you're keeping your diet under control. You need to make sure that you're spending time taking care of yourself. One of my talents recently got into a car accident and that's kind of crazy to do right now. Um, nobody wants to end up in a hospital during this time period if it's you know not related to the virus. So be careful. Be careful with every aspect of your life because you are valuable and you are worthwhile. And it's, it's all you've got if you're a talent. I always think that, you know, what I have that's different from what everybody else has is just what's in here. I have this knowledge base of weird stuff that other people might not know. But if I can't express that and if I can't do things with it, then I won't be able to share. It's the same thing with the talent. Whether you're a model, whether you're an actor, you have you and we need you to take care of you. So make sure you're still doing that. Um, even just for fun, every once in a while, like get dressed up just so you feel good. I think that's really, really important. Um, Howie and I did a, another date night where we set candles out on the back porch and we dressed nice for each other and we had a little dinner in a kind of thing with shrimp on the just about skewers you know we just tried to try to do something to make it feel special sometimes you need to do that it'll keep you from getting into an emotional rut and that's really important because you are important you are valuable you are without my talent i have nothing as a business so take care of yourselves take care of each other make sure you're not going out when you don't need to make sure you're social distancing i i have this wonderful neighborhood that i live in but people are social gathering and i see them doing it on the golf course i see them doing it taking walks together um you can't do this guys it may seem like business as usual and things are getting back to normal or you're getting more used to this or you're ready for it to be over whatever it is that you're telling yourself that might stop you from taking really good care of yourself. You can't, you really still have to know that we're in this. We're still in this. It's not over. It's not close to over. We still have time ahead of us. Don't push it. Don't push your luck. You are too important, especially to your own career that you can't, you can't do it. Don't risk anything. Don't risk anything at all. So <clears throat> what are you doing to take care of yourself? The next sheet said, what do you have on your calendar in the future? And that may seem crazy. You know, it, it, life's what's happening while you're making other plans, said John Lennon. And I, and I agree with that, but why not make some plans? Make some plans for you know, next year. Make some plans for November. Make some plans a little down the line so that at least you know you have that to look forward to. Put some things on your calendar like that. Um, put some things on your calendar for now. When you're doing these you know, webinars or you see things come across your email, I, I get more emails now about stuff going on than I ever have. Um, put it on your calendar and make sure that it's there so that you prioritize these things. And so that you show it's It's amazing how many people think, oh, I'm going to do this or I want to do that. And then they just don't even show up when, why right now, what, what do we have that we're doing? That's so important that you can't take this time. You can make time around it, but just forgetting or not knowing potatoes, um, those kind of things. If you keep up with your calendar and you make sure you're putting things on there, then you'll be fine. Um, I have noticed that the, the groups of people that I normally coach right here within my little studio, um, they're staying on course. They are showing up. Every time we have a class, I'm still getting an excellent response from people. They're still doing it. They're putting their time aside to make sure that they're participating, that they're growing, that they're learning something, that they're making something, that they're creating. Um, I, I heard Dustin Hoffman say that the reason why actors take acting class is because they're trying to pay people to watch them. And OK, that's fine. <laughs> pay people to watch you. But attend, 
be careful not to turn yourself into the couch potato. Be careful not to turn yourself into somebody who doesn't get up out of bed um, or, or that stays in their sweatpants all day long. If you prioritize that you're going to attend these things, you have to be accountable to someone else. That's really very powerful. If someone else knows that you're expected, show up. And as you're showing up, they'll know that they can count on you. I have a lamp back there that's flickering. I'm sorry about that if that's distracting to you, but my light bulb is funky. So anyway, um, got me. I just distracted me. Um, I want you to make sure that you're doing business minded things, keeping yourself knowing that you're a talent, you're an aspiring talent, that you're doing something to move forward. Um, I'm still seeing new faces. I have a new faces date on my calendar. And if anyone wants to participate in that and, and show up, the Google meets that I do, the hangout meets are a little different than this because it's not just me talking to the screen, which is what I'm doing right now. Even though all of you are out there and you're listening to me, I'm talking to a screen. So in the Google meets, I might be talking to the screen, but everybody else can talk to me too. And in the, um, the new faces meeting, what I do is, you know, I kind of go over some stuff that some of you might already know about my history with the company and what I do and, and how I run things. But at the end, I do a Q&A so you can chat with me and talk to me. And that's the way I do those. Um, I also have some people that, you know, maybe I, maybe I talked to you a while ago and you want to tell me something new or you want to look to me for some guidance about things. Um, reach out and ask me. I have no problem with giving away a little bit of my time to help a talent. So if you need me to give you some advice on something, just reach out. I, I just had wonderful Jordan do that to me yesterday. She said, um, can we can we spend some time and chat? And I said, absolutely, because I want to know what, what's on her mind and what I can help her with. Reach out. Tell me that you want a one on one session, which brings me to a giveaway. Yes, I decided I had a really great time when um, I had Vanessa as one of my one-on-one -on -one sessions free giveaway thing. So I'm going to give a one-on-one -on -one acting or modeling coaching session um, to the first person who puts the homework up. So whoever that might be today, and don't try to do it all now because I haven't gone through everything, but whoever does that first and gets it up there, I will give them a free one-hour session with me. So um, it's not an advice session, it's a coaching session. So I will actually tell you some of the things that um, that I tell my, my regular students. It's a little different than me just interviewing. So um, I'm happy to give that away to whoever that might be. Anyway, um, I am still, I'm looking at having another coaching session, my, my Get Real program, which is on a website that's linked in with the rest of this. Um, I am starting another session where I'll be teaching twice a night, or twice a night, twice a week, <laughs> for modeling and twice a week for acting and that's coming up again soon too so if somebody wants to participate on a grander scale then that's available i'm keeping myself darn busy and i really hope that what what happens with all of this activity is that our quality goes up and everybody's skills go up and their confidence goes up and then when this whole thing the floodgates open that we're all just so raring to go and so ready um another thing that i would like to do is I would like to find some people who are into like Instagram. I'm not a big Instagram person, um, but I would like some social media influencers to start hyping the gray models and talent names. So I'm going to come up with a program for social media influencers. I'm also looking for people who want to act as talent scouts and find people that would want to be um, involved in what I do. So if that's something of interest to you, reach out to me. If you're interested in becoming a coach, reach out to me. Those are things that I just want to see grow and build. So that's all things that could end up on the calendar in your future. Now, the next thing I put on my worksheet says, who are your mentors? Do you know what they're doing with their time right now? Is there a way to learn from them? This is a really smart question. 
I came up with it. I won't. <laughs> Calling myself smart. But if you want to learn from someone, if you've always thought, oh, I wish I could pick somebody's brain, who would that person be? Figure out who that person would be and find out what they're doing now. The actors are not off on set right now. They're just not. So maybe they're doing something that you could benefit from. Maybe they're doing something that you could learn from, whether it's a producer, whether it's um, another actor, whether it's an acting coach, you know, find out who your mentors that you've always wanted to work with, find out what they're doing with their time, because there may be an in there for you to show up and show off and show out. There may be an opportunity that wasn't normally there. So look into that, check into that, find out and write it down, write it down. Put it on the, on the sheet. Um, what financial resources? Oh, wait, the next one. No, I'm jumping around. Um, what are your plans for your stimuli, stimulus check? Now, I know some people have gone out and done some crazy things. Some people have gone out and bought widescreen TVs. I am not in a position to say I know whether or not this money is here for now, whether it's something that they're taking away when the taxes, tax returns come back in. I've heard both. I don't know. I, it's a rumor. I don't know. Um, I don't trust all news anyway, whether it's considered fake news, whether it's considered real news. I don't know. So I'm not going to speak to that. But if you need to think about, you know, how are you able to utilize this appropriately? Yes, pay your rent, pay your electric um, do all these things, you know, the economic shutdown doesn't have to be as widespread as it could be because everyone's suddenly afraid to pay for anything. Um, I am very happy to say that people that owed me are still paying me when I thought maybe they wouldn't. Um, I hope people that owed you are still paying you. I urge you, if you owe anybody anything, pay them. It's the only way to keep this machine going that is our economy. So, don't rest on your laurels and take this stimulus check and, and blow it. It's not a good idea. So what can you do with it? Okay, handle your bills for sure. You want to make sure that when this all comes out, comes off and, and it's done, that you still have your car to drive, um, that you still have your home, that you still have the security to do the things you need to do. And without it, you'd be stuck. So keep that in mind. Take care of those things that are necessities. After that, if there's something that you feel you should do to enhance your career, this is a good time to do it. Whether you need to, you know, look at how many comp cards you have and, and order some new ones, or whether this is a time that you can do something, you know, I, I, I bought business cards. This is a good time to take that little bit that you've got and invest it into your future, invest it into your career. Make sure that you're doing something smart. Um, I, I mentioned that Margie Haber was doing free Monday classes, and I, I do recommend going to margiehaber.com and getting into one of those if she's still doing them on Mondays. Um, but after that, she has an advanced program. Don't be afraid to pay Margie. These are the things that when it's an investment in your future, when it's an investment in your talent, when it's an investment in what you're capable of to come, there's no loss there. There's, there's no way to have no value to that. You gotta think about what's valuable. And sometimes being able to do those things right now will increase your marketability for when this whole thing opens up. Because yes, it's still gonna be a free for all when it comes to how much competition is gonna be out there. But some of it's good competition, some of it's bad competition. If you're dealing with good competition, you gotta be good too. So make yourself rise to the top and that way you'll have more earning power later on. And that's what this is about. You want to make sure that when all of this blows away, that you're able to hit this ground running, really, really running. So don't be afraid to invest. That's really what it is. It's not useless spending. Don't buy the widescreen TV. Go take an acting class <laughs> learn something new. Um, whether it's on your special skills section or whether it's your actual skills for the business, learn something new, enhance yourself. So that's another thing that I really wanted to ask everybody is what are your plans for your stimulus check? 
Now, what financial resources are you applying for? Now, everybody knows that if you're a small business owner, you know, some of those resources have run dry. Um, I have found some other things. Um, the actorsfund.org. If you've been a working actor already and you can show that you've been a working actor, um, there's a huge list of resources on the actorsfund.org. So you want to go through that list and see if anything applies to you as grants. And these are all grants. They're not loans. They're not something that you're going to have to pay back with low interest. It's none of that. These are grants and they're provided by foundations. Um, some of them are for musicians. Some of them are for um, theater actors. Some of them are for um, other types of talent, but they're all over the place. This is, it's, I, you can't really see my screen, but it's a huge list. Like I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Dancers, um, arts, all of this. Some, some are located in, you know, different specific areas. Like, you know, North Carolina's got one. Um, Montana's got one. Minnesota, Michigan, Maryland, Boston, Chicago. They're all over the place. So this is a wonderful resource, actorsfund.org. Um, I recommend now that I've said this to a large amount of people, do this as quick as possible before these funds dry up. Um, you don't want that to happen. So that's a really great resource. I want you to, you know, utilize that, get on that if you need help. I highly recommend if you're not somebody who doesn't need help, don't take it. Don't take it from other people. Um, I have not tried to get unemployment. I'm not trying to do any of that stuff because I'm still making a living and I'm okay. So I'm not going to take those resources and tap into them and, and take them from somebody else who needs them right now. Um, but try to do that. I have found there's ways to make money. There's still ways to make money. Um, Instacart is is employing some of my people to go and shop for people who are too afraid to go to the grocery store or that might be um, the real susceptible to, you know, having other pre-existing conditions and not want to go. Um, that's a really great thing to do. I used to tell all my models to go do promotional modeling jobs, which pay, you know, 15, 20 bucks an hour. But don't be afraid that something is beneath you at this time. Um, I, <laughs> the Taco Bell around the corner has a now hiring sign on. If you need to work, go work. Truly. Um, find a way to keep yourself going and keep yourself sustained. And when it's over, you can go back to doing what you normally did, but there are ways to do things where you can still make a living. Um, on Backstage, Backstage.com has a lot of self-submit, self-tape type gigs. They're paying people to stay at home, film something and send it back. And they're utilizing that. There's a lot of them. So if you do the search on backstage in their in their castings and look for things that are film at home, you can find lots of things and they're they're paying 100 bucks. You know, some of them are paying that much. They might be paying less, but why not? It won't take you much time if you just do it. So you really want to think about, you know, what kind of things you need to apply for, what kind of jobs you can apply for. Um, if you need a grant, if you're you know somebody that's that's really been making a living doing this for you know your whole life. And now you're really suffering. I know this is this is how things go. The more money that you make, the more you rise up your quality of living. And then something like this happens and all of a sudden you're stuck because maybe you have a savings, maybe you don't. But for those that don't have a savings that lasts as long as this might, um, you know, don't don't be afraid to try and find some funding and find some, you know, the, the grants are important and and share information with others in the community. Artists themselves, if this is all you do, if this is all you've worked at, it's very, very difficult to find something else. And do whatever you have to though, do whatever you have to. So I will, I will be posting a link to that actorsfund.org um, on, my, on my Get Real Modeling page in the group so that people can come to it and take a look at that. It's really, really special. And I think there's there's some help out there for people who need it. If you don't, don't do that. <laughs> Scolding people like I'm a mom. I'm such a mom, oh my gosh. Okay, so um, what are your plans for working with an agency or with Gray? That was my next question. And you know, it might not be me. Maybe there's another agency that you've been really interested in, or maybe it is me and you just haven't reached out yet. Um, let me know. 
let me know if you're interested in being signed to me. Some people are, are enjoying learning from me in this aspect and, and watching my videos, but why not reach out and apply? Um, I don't mind if somebody just sends me a submission. I like getting them to my email and that's Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y at gray, G-R-A-Y models and talent and models with an S it's plural. Talent is plural all, all by itself with no S. So it's models and talent period, um, dot com. So if you want to send me, you know, photos that you have or links or things that you think that you, you know, like to show me whatever it is that you think is your best stuff, send it over and, and I'll take a look at it. And if I feel that you, you know, might benefit from being in one of my new faces meetings, I can invite you to that. Or if I feel that I want a one on one conversation with you, we might do that. Um, there's a lot of ways to move forward with me because I'm definitely moving forward. Um, it's really kind of a big goal of mine. And I want I want everyone to kind of jump on the wave and ride it with me if they would like to. So don't don't hesitate. I like being a resource. I like being here for people. I like helping talent as much as I can. Um, for those of you that have joined the group later than when I started it, if you scroll down in the main page in the discussion of the group, there is a link to my YouTube, which has the first four webinars that I did. Actually, there's I think there's six on there by now. I don't know. I lost count um, that I uploaded there. I pulled them from this page and I uploaded them there, but they are still there. The workbooks are here in each of the units. So you can go back and start at the beginning and watch them all. I know some people have binge watched me and I think that's just really fun. I would love people to binge watch me all you want. Um, but I, I've given away a lot of information there about how the industry works and how the business works and things that you can look out for and things that you can pay attention to. Um, in this time, you do have to also still be, be diligent and be careful about who you work with and who you want to work with. Um, some of these companies that what they do isn't based on bookings. Um, what they do is based on sales pitches and that kind of thing. They're still out there too. And they're still doing their pressure thing and they're still trying to gather people that they think they want to um, bring in later or, or things like that. And just be diligent and be careful. If you need coaching, go to a coaching company. If you need marketing and you need to sign with somebody, figure out who you want to sign with. Um, but if they seem to not explain on their website how they make their money, then you might be leery. Uh, you might be a little cautious because if it seems like they're trying to sell something to talent or trying to bring in a whole bunch of talent and it doesn't look like they're trying to pitch their talent to somebody else, then they're probably not an agent. So look at that with a careful eye. Look at that and, and determine whether or not you think it's somebody you want to work with. Yes, we do need these resources. We do need to be coached. We do need to have good marketing materials, but go to the places that do that and specialize in that and do it well and be selective. Comparison shop. You've got the time to do it right now without anybody being able to like tell you that they have a room full of other people that are going to move forward with them. If you don't, it's not possible to even throw that at people right now. So don't sweat it. Um, use your time. Look at your options. Think about your goals. Put it all into a map ahead of you and benefit from this. This is a great time to get done the things you haven't had the chance to do. This is a great time to move yourself forward. This is a great time to plan for the future. You know, what, what makes you different? What makes you unique? What makes you most valuable? Start to highlight that. Start to focus on it. Put yourself together as a package because some people call it a brand. I, I'm my brand. I, I, I just, it kind of bugs me. I don't, I don't like that. But <laughs> if you feel that way, that you're a brand and you're trying to up your brand, then, then that's, this is the time to work on that. Um, I guess gray is a brand or a brand or a marketing brand. Um, but I want to I want to push that out there, too. So if anyone needs to get involved with something, um, I do compensate people for finding talent for me. I do compensate people for you know helping to promote my classes. Um, I do these things. So if that's something that you feel that you would be good at and that you would like to get involved with, let me know. I'm here to help. Um, I also have my magazine that I'm still working on. So if anyone feels that they know people that they 
would want to reach out and say, hey, sponsor me as a talent. I'm trying to get this done or I'm trying to get that done or I'm trying to go on this event or I'm trying to take this trip or I'm trying to move or I'm trying to fund my college. If you need to do that and, and want to try and find people that might sponsor you, I have a booklet for that and um, it's ad space. So later on, it will be a tax deduction for any business owner that wants to put an ad in the in there too. Um, if any of you are business owners, if any of you would like an ad in my magazine, um, if you're part of my group right now, I am willing to give you a quarter page. So just reach out to me and say, I'd like to be in your magazine and I'm giving that to you. So I want to help the small business owners and help you all move forward. And um, I just need you to know, I need to know whether you want me to design it for you or whether you have one already together. Um, I can't say what the distribution of my magazine will be because this is a whole new um, relaunching and revamping of my magazine. Um, but I will say that the last time there was a couple of pages, I, I give the pages to the feature, people who are featured and they posted them on their Instagram and got over 30,000 likes in 24 hours. So I do tend to get some traffic. It might not all be local traffic, but I, hey, it's a free ad. What do you want? <laughs> if it reaches one person and helps you out, then it's a good thing. But let me know if you need that for me. Let me know if you need any guidance. Let me know if you need any advice. Let me know if you need um, different information. Um, I will be putting a link up to how to register for my coaching program. So if that's something that you're planning on doing and would like to do, you know that that'll be posted up later on today. And I'd love to see some of you do that. Um, and if you have if you have some video of you doing you know your monologues, doing your commercials, doing your your model walk, any of that, um, I'll be posting the link to that other page where you guys can post stuff that you've done and created so that we can hype you up and and show you around. That's really what I'd like to do to try and help everybody as much as I possibly can. Um, if you want to do a thank you for first responders and send me a video of that, please do. Um, you can do it by WeTransfer. You can do it by Google Drive. Um, and doing a share but if you want to do something like that and send that to me terrific great if you want to participate in the um, improv exercise and an event that i'm planning to do um, let me know that that's something you're interested in too i want to have a really nice conversation with everybody about how you'd like to join in on some of the stuff that i'm doing and and what you feel about it and i think that um together we can continue to build and continue to grow even in these crazy times and that's what I hope that everybody can do together. Um, I know that's what everybody's saying too, right? We're in this together. Well, we are. We are. We're, we're separately in our own little homes and in our own little worlds, but we're doing this together. And the, the entertainment industry itself is kind of a community. It really is. The, the entertainment industry people in Florida all know the Florida people. All the people in North Carolina, they all know each other. It's, it's a very tight-knit bunch and it's a tight-knit group. And the more that you are active in the community, the more it will spread, the more people will pay attention, um, the more people are aware that you're a professional, um, the more people will know where to go to um, address you if they have a need for you and your type of talent and who you might be as a character. Um, getting into somebody's head and making sure that they know that you're existing and that you're part of it and you're still driven and you're still active and you're still promoting and you're still um, hyping good things. If you do that in a time like this, it says volumes about character. And I don't mean like the character you're portraying. I mean like your own character. Um, integrity. It says a lot about your business ethic. And being able to show a strong business, yeah, <laughs> being able to show a strong business ethic in times like these is really instrumental and it really will be impactful in the future. So don't hesitate to do those things and, and be involved and be vocal. And, you know, some, some people I've seen in um, some of the other groups, they're like, well, I've been a member of this group for a while, but I haven't said anything. And now they're saying something good. If you're in groups and you're not saying anything and they're these acting groups, don't do that. Don't, don't sit around being dormant. Promote yourself. This is a really great time to promote yourself in whatever market that you feel that you can work, whether it's the modeling market, whether it's the acting market, whether it's your local market, whether it's a, a, a larger scale, you know, major market that you know that you can go to at some point. Um, 
you know, no, I'm not, I'm not recommending that anyone like quickly go to New York. That's really a bad idea. Um, <laughs> but down the line, New York's still going to be there. It's just, it is. LA is going to open up again. It is. Start doing things in your local markets to build your resume, to build your, your body of work, to build what they can see of your marketing materials so that when this all opens up, you're more prepared to go into the larger markets. It would be great if you're using this time that way. So if you need my help, if you need my assistance, um, I'm also going to put on the calendar, you know, how I'm going to, I'm going to, when I, when I do the um, resume building thing, what I think I will do is I'm going to do a Google Drive, or not Google Drive, Google Hangouts Meets um, meeting, and I'll be doing a, a share of my screen while I construct the resume so that if you need help with that and how to do that and do that effectively so that it doesn't drive your agent crazy. Because <laughs> I know some agents, well, some of my talent, bless their hearts, they try really hard to do a nice resume. Um, but sometimes it ends up like formatted terribly and I can't edit it and I can't move anything around or change the, the dimensions of it so that I can even slice it appropriately to put it on the back of the headshot because the headshots are eight by 10 and pieces of paper are not. So sometimes people don't know how to do those things very well. So I want to kind of go through that with everybody that needs that assistance. So um, when it comes time, hi, Jordan, <laughs> it's good to see Jordan. So when it comes time to, um, to do that, I'll put the dates into my group so that, you know, when you can log on and join, and I'll just put it in as a link. So you don't need an invite from me, or I won't need your email address to have you come. You can just show up. So I'm going to put that onto the group page so that if you want to have a workshop completely about how to make your resume um, work and look great and please all of your representation, then I thought I would do that for everybody. So that's coming up. It might be, I would say I might, I might be doing that on Thursday. That's my, my, my planning ahead, I think. So, um, Feel free to comment, feel free to, you know, tell me what you think or any questions you might have in, in these chats. Um, this, this live one will remain on Facebook for a while. So if you want to come back and look at it again, if you need to rehash it, if you need to share it with friends, if you want to do a watch party, you know, any of that stuff, it'll be here for you to do. Um, if you haven't seen all the other ones, I recommend you go back and do so and catch up and, and be part of it and don't miss anything. I would love to have you do that. So as you, as you have time, that's what this, what this particular episode was all about is as you now have time, get yourself ready, get yourself ready. Cause the, the change is coming. One thing we can count on it's change. And when this is over, which it will end when it's over, there's going to be a whole different business going on. It's going to be fast. It's going to be fast paced and it would be really smart to be totally ready for it. So I look forward to seeing what everyone is doing, um, how you're keeping up with things. Um, show me what you've created. Show me your videos. Show me your new resume. Show me your new websites. Show me what you're creating to make yourself even better in this crazy time. I'm, I'm real interested to hear it. I kind of shared a little bit about what I do personally so that you know how I spend my time trying to, you know, keep everything in a balance and keep things moving forward and to help people to get them motivated and acclimated. One of the things that I, I noticed about with, with talent and, in, you know, Florida, I spent so many years and I know all these talents and I know all these people, but they didn't have their marketing materials together. And it was all kind of like haphazard and crappy. And um, the only times that they would really get on the ball was when they thought there was a deadline. Like all of a sudden I'd say, okay, I'm bringing in these casting directors. I'm bringing in these agents. I'm bringing in these people to meet you. Get ready. And then they would, they would like hit the ground like a little hamster and they'd start running and they'd get everything together and it would be done and it would be beautiful and it would be perfect because they felt like they had something to get ready for. That's what this time is, guys. This is the time you need to take, because although we don't know what date that deadline is going to be, it's coming and it will be strong and it will be a surge and it will be floodgates. And if you're not ready, you're going to get run right over. 
So start now and let me know if there's anything you think that I can do to help you because I'm here for it. And, um, and let me know what part you think you'd like to play with my company. I'm really interested if anybody wants to, you know, if you want to be signed, if you want to be a talent scout, if you want to be a coach, um, if you want to be an influencer, any of those things, um, let me know because I'm here and I'm working on it. <laughs> so I appreciate your time. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you listened. I hope you'll join me on my next one. You know, I'm not going to stop doing these. I kind of like to spring it on people and go, hey, I'm doing this now. So I don't know when the next one's going to be, but keep an eye out. Um, make comments in, in my group. I really want to know about it. I, I will say this, though. My group is not for um, promoting things that are not talent related. Um, my group is not for trying to get people to go to, um, you know, this fashion show or that fashion show. It's really not about that. This is more about, you know, building yourself as a talent, building your careers, that kind of a thing. If it's based on that, um, I do look over everything that somebody tries to put on my page. Um, I make sure that it's something that is topic worthy and, and appropriate. And, and I'd love to see some of that kind of content. Um, I know there's other pages that are like, Oh, we don't want to see all your all your marketing and all your hype and all that stuff. Um, I kind of do. I think that our, our members would like to see that from each other and and see if you know you have a new trailer out on some indie project, stuff like that. I think we'd we'd be smart to brag about each other. I think it's a really great idea. So feel free to send me those kind of posts. I'm I'm all happy about it. Um, but don't, you know, try and get people to sign up to for skincare or an Etsy shop or something like that. This, this is not the place for it. But um, acting, modeling, that stuff, want to see it as much of it as you possibly can. So um, invite your friends too. I haven't had a whole lot of big surge of, of friend invite. So invite your friends. I would love to. I would love to. Um, and I think with that, I've covered everything I needed to say tonight. I appreciate you coming by and I will see you next time. Have a great night, people. Keep it safe. Bye.